Bob Mason from FX10 Pro. Welcome to the daily crypto tech review of Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, and Ripple's XRP. We're looking at the MACD's moving averages, the day's support resistance of pivot levels, and the Fibonacci's. It is Sunday, the 6th of June. Jumping straight into Bitcoin against US dollar and the hourly candlestick has been a mixed start to the morning. Getting ET Bitcoin moved through the pivot at 36.094. Take a run at the first major resistance level, sitting at 37.365. Then an ETC support from the broader market for Bitcoin to break back through to 37,000 levels. So barring an extended rally, I would expect that first major resistance level. And yesterday's high at 37,924 to cap any upside. In the event of an extended rally, could see Bitcoin target 40,000 levels before any pullback. Second major resistance level sits at 39,195. Failure to move through the pivot will bring the first major support level at 34,264 into play. Buying and extend itself on the day, Bitcoin should stay clear of sub 30,000 levels. Second major support level of 32,993 should limit the downside. Looking at the MACD, slight narrowing of the bearish histograms at the turn of the day, so I need to look out for a possible bullish cross there. On the EMAs, however, bearish indicator the 50 pulling further back from the 100 and the 200, signaling further downside ahead. So, key would be to move through the pivot at 36.094 and back through to 37,000 levels to bring resistance levels into play. Failure to do that and support levels will be in play. Moving across to Ethereum against US dollar, it's a bearish start to the day. Going to Ethereum, move through the pivot at 2666 to take a run at the 38.2% pivot, 2740 and the first major resistance level at 2780. Support from the broader market is going to be needed for Ethereum to break out from that 38.2% fib, however. Buying an extended rally on day, expect that first major resistance level and 38.2% FIB to cap any upside. In the event of an extended rally, could see Ethereum target 3000 before any pullback. Second major resistance level sits at 2931. Failure to move through the pivot will bring the first major support level 2516 into play. Buying an extended itself on the day, Ethereum should avoid the second major support level at 2402. Looking at the MACDs, seeing a narrowing of the bearish histograms through the turn of the day. So we'll be looking out for a bullish cross there. On the EMAs, the 50s closed in on the 100 and narrowed on the 200. So need to look out for a bearish cross there that would send Ethereum deep into the red. So key through the early morning, move through the pivot at 2666. Break through the 38.2% pivot at 2740 to bring resistance levels into play. Failure to do that and support levels will be in play. Moving across to Litecoin against US dollar, it's been a mixed start to the morning. Going to need to see Litecoin move through the 62% pivot at 174 and the pivot at 175 to take a run at the first major resistance level at 183. Support from the broader market will be needed for Litecoin to break back through to 180s. So, buying an extended rally on the day, expect that first major resistance level and yesterday's high at 185.49 to cap any upside. In the event of an extended rally, could see Litecoin target 200 before any pullback. The second major resistance level sits at 193. Failure to move through the 62% fib and pivot will bring the first major support level at 165 into play. Buying and extending itself on the day, Litecoin should stay clear of the second major support level at 158. Looking at the MACDs, we have a narrowing of the bearish histograms. We could see a possible bullish cross after yesterday's late recovery. More significantly, however, the 50 EMA continues to pull back from the 100 and the 200. That's a bearish indicator suggesting further downside ahead. So key would be to move back through the 62% pivot at 174 and the pivot at 175 to move back through to 180s to bring resistance levels into play. Failure to do that and support levels will be in play. When you're looking at Ripple's XRP against the US dollar. Also, mixed start to the day, going to need to see Ripple's XRP move through the pivot at 0.9377 to take a run at the first major resistance level at 0.9821. Going to need to see plenty of support from the broader market for Ripple's XRP to break back through to 0.95 levels. So, barring an extended rally on day, expect that first major resistance level and yesterday's high at 0.99739 to cap any upside. In the event of an extended rally, could see Ripple's XRP target 1.1s before any pullback second major resistance level, so it's at 1.0418. Failure to move through the pivot will bring the first major support level at 0.878 and the 62% FIB at 0.8573 into play. Barring an extended sell-off on the day, Ripple's XRP should avoid sub 0.85s. 
second major support levels at 0.8335. Looking at the MACD, similar trend narrowing of the bearish histograms following, following yesterday's late partial recovery. So looking out for a bullish cross there on the EMAs, still a bearish indicator with the 50 pulling back from the 100 and the 200 signaling further downside ahead. So key would be to move through the pivot at 0.9377 and break back through to 0.95 levels to bring resistance levels into play. Failure to do that, and support levels will be in play.